Okay, number nine is fortunately one of the easiest questions here in part one. I think it's easiest. Um, we've got the sentence, Cornwall is Britain's principal serving region, something of the size of the Atlantic rollers, it means the waves, the Atlantic rollers, um, hitting the beaches there and serve as a concern that the energy taken from the waves may something in a reduction of the wave size, basically. Um, so, uh, if we look at the options, uh, we've got a linking word here. Do we say because of, account of, reason of, or thanks of? Let's start with thanks of. No, we don't. We say thanks for. So please remember we use the preposition for with thanks. Thanks for or thanks to plus verb. Yeah, thanks to plus verb, um, or, or thanks to plus noun as well, thanks to his attitude, yeah. So it depends on how you're using the word thanks, but you can say thanks for something and thanks to something, meaning owing to something, due to something. So that's also an important one, thanks to or thanks for. We say the reason for something, so it's not reason either, because we need of, not for. So reason is incorrect. We do say account of, but we say on account of. And I don't see the word on in this sentence at all. So it's not on account of. However, we say because of all the time. And that's why I think this is the easiest one. I think most students would get this correct. It's because of. Um, so yeah, because of the size of the Atlantic rollers, the waves hitting the beaches there. Okay, on to the next one. They're concerned that the energy taken from the waves may something in a reduction of the wave height. Um, so, may upshot in, may result in, may conclude in, may arise in. Again, let's look at the prepositions. May arise from is the correct um, verb preposition combination. So, it's not arise from because we've got the word in may conclude in no we don't say conclude in um, um, and it's the wrong kind of word here may conclude no I mean we're talking about results we're not talking about conclusions or, or endings um, we're, we, we need a different word here may result in is certainly a correct combination and is actually the correct answer here again I think this is quite an easy question like number nine and may upshot in no we say the upshot of something as in the result of something but we don't use uh, we, that's using the word as a noun the upshot of not as a verb as we need here because we've got a modal verb and then we've got an infinitive without to and then the verb so may result in is the correct answer okay um, when they something the shore when the surfers get to basically the shore so do we say when the surfers arrive the shore no we say when the surfers arrive at the shore or when the surfers arrive in the city yeah when the surfers arrive in London when the surfers arrive in Paris so we do use arrive with prepositions at and in and there is no preposition here so it can't be um, arrive may realize the shore when, when the surfers realize the shore i don't know what they're talking about there get rid of realize you don't realize the shore meaning get to when they reach the shore of course we say reach for get to reach means get to achieve only means get to in a metaphorical sense when you achieve very good exam results or something like that um, but you don't use it for the physical sense involving m movement. Um, you use the word reach. Okay, the last one is tricky, I must admit. Um, we're saying that the surfers had something, a reduction in wave height. Now we're saying that they were scared of a reduction in wave height, yeah? Um, so you need to think about you need to simplify this sentence as is so often the case it's a very long complicated sentence and to work out the answer we only need to think about the surfers had something a reduction in wave height yeah a reduction in wave height so do we say the surfers had scared a reduction in wave height no we would say this this the surfers had been scared of 
a reduction in wave height. So we'd need a preposition and it would, it would have to be in passive form for that to be correct. But it's not in passive form, it's in active form. Um, what about worried? Well, we would say the, what the surface had been worried about a reduction in wave height. So uh, it can't be worried because we would need the preposition about and it would be in passive like scared had been worried about a reduction in wave height. And we haven't got about, we haven't got passive, so get rid of worried. Okay, the surface had been frightened of a reduction in wave height. Um, that would be possible, but we don't have the vital preposition of. Yeah, we need that preposition if we're going to add an object with frightened of what they were frightened of. And again, it must be in passive. They were frightened of a reduction in the wave height. They were worried about a reduction in the wave height. They were scared of a reduction in the wave height. Um, but we need something active and without a preposition. Now, if we say the surface had feared a reduction in wave height, it's absolutely correct. Um, you can say, I fear, and then say what you're scared of. And so you need to use the, the verb fear here. It's not just a noun, fear. It is also a verb. Um, you can say, I fear that the government will increase taxes. Yeah, I fear an increase in taxes. We're using it actively and we're using it without a preposition. So that's the correct answer here. OK, thank you for watching this video. I will be making many more videos about CAE and other exams. Please subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you all soon.